so we're going to be talking about our repertoire today, um, 2017. And Hara was one of the co-choreographers. So myself and Hara, we choreographed a piece. Um, so I invited Hara um, to the artist talk today to tell us a little bit about herself and what she does. Okay, great. Um, so my name is Hara. I am originally from Greece. I have been in New York for 10 years this year. You might hear my roommates in the background opening doors. Um, and yeah, like Linda said, uh, I have been with DU for six years. Wow. And um, I, I am a contemporary dancer. I, I don't like to give myself like a title, like I'm a contemporary dancer and I only do this because uh, for example, in DU we explore different styles and I also personally get inspired uh, by different style, styles of movement. Um, and for example, in 3017, we got call, I got called to create a yoga inspired movement. So I used that uh, part of my journey. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just, uh, what else what, what do you want to know about me? <laughs> um, yeah, so um, you also dance other dance styles as well. In addition to, I know you're with Alternative Synergy, the dance company ASTC, you dance with DU. Hi. And prior to that, you have scholarships to even just, that's what brought you to the States, right? Yes. So if you want to know the whole, the whole thing. Um, yeah, it was <laughs> my whole story. Uh, well, I originally started Gre uh, dancing in Greece and I, I graduated a conservatory over there. Uh, it was mainly classical ballet and uh, modern and contemporary. So that's what gave me a scholarship also. Um, through that degree, I, I went to um, Alexander Onassis Foundation and I had, um, I got a scholarship from there to come here to study Limon. I also recently just took an online class from Limon, which I haven't done in like nine years and I, it felt amazing. Now that we're in quarantine and everyone is like, you know, teaching online. So it was, it's great. Brings everyone together. Um, and uh, yeah, so I started Limon and then I wanted to stay in New York for more because I wasn't done with the city. It had so much, you know, so much juice, so many different styles uh, and possibilities. So um, I, I got another scholarship from another foundation. I stayed here and I did, I, I took uh, different classes. So I designed my, my own uh, training. Um, also going back to Greece meant that I would have to go back, back and teach because there's no, there's no path for, for professionals, professional dancers. So that was not an option, unfortunately. And, um, and that's another thing that I wanted to do here. I wanted to stay and perform and, um, and explore, develop that part of me, the part, like my, my artistry. And um, yes. Now you've been so. here for 10 years. Wow. Yay. <laughs> wow. That's what always happens with New York for anybody that is not from here. You come here and you think you're coming for just one year and then, you know, it wins you over. Yeah. I feel like New York is definitely one of those places um, and Hawaii too, you know, surprisingly oh, like, yeah. So it's either you, you will stay there forever and ever and don't want to leave or within the first year, you, you know, the city kind of chew you up and just spit you out in a way. <laughs> um, it, it takes a lot of strength. Even in Hawaii, like people would think it's like paradise, but it, it takes a lot to honestly survive and thrive in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, very similar to New York. Um, so tell us about 3017, right? So what is the piece about and what was the creative process like? Yes, so um, 3017, it's, it's a piece that uh, reflects upon humanity. So it invites us to 
connect with each other, act as a collective and plant the seeds that we want, uh, we want to see flourish in the future. So imagining the future, a collective future together, connecting to the roots. So it shows the journey from going back, going inwards and going back, connecting to our roots and our ancestors. And then how do we carry that over into the future? And um, 3017 came up because it was 2017 when we did it. So we said, how would you imagine the world in 1000 years? Or what plants would you like, what seeds would you like to plant for a thousand years from now? Um, so that was the, the question that ignited everything. Um, and uh, the process was really interesting um it was so you gave me you gave me a, you gave me that idea and it was something that also like we do in rehearsals we talked about it we had all these notes we posted notes we put them on the mirror we saw them we danced about them um and after after that you you gave me a piece of music right you were like here this is for you <laughs> This is where we're gonna um, we're gonna use that yoga inspired movement because also yoga as a practice is something that is ancient. It's something that is that has a lot to do with reflection and how it brings people together. And it had uh, and for me the, the the moment you gave this to me and I, I heard the music, it had that ritualistic like element of how we came together the, and from dance, um, we started building, like connecting to the ground, grounding, and then flourishing from there. Um, so the process uh, for me, it was, I first listened to the music a lot. And then I, I had in mind also um, the people that were performing it. Uh, you had already, you, you, had, you had developed already, I think the, the previous parts um that um so that gave me an idea about like how to segue into the next part and the process was me in a studio by myself sitting listening to music and trying to let it move me um it was very helpful that i had people in mind i had the you know the dancers and all the the movements that i could create with their bodies so that was really helpful and um, yep. And that's how it happened. How um, was reality of like placing the dances on the dancer much different than what was in your mind? Um, I had, I had everything pretty like set in my head. Like I was, when I like movement wise, sometimes I know that different choreographers have different processes. So for me, it was like, I want to have everything like very clear in my head, like to not like 100%, but like a 90%. And um, I had that solid, I feel. And then when I, when I gave it to the dancers, it was very, it was very beautiful because it really became like it came alive it became alive so it was a very inspiring moment um of course it's it's a company that has people from different backgrounds so i understand that it can be challenging for some people but i also understand that not everybody has to do everything because if you have someone that is that is a hip hop dancer or someone that is not familiar with that style at all, uh, which is like contemporary -ish. And then it's hard to, you know, it's hard to be exactly a specific way. Um, but, but you also helped me a lot when it, when it was time to like have people thread in and thread out and transition and, um, yeah, so it was like, like, like the story of 3017. It was like a collective coming together and bringing it to life, basically.